my name is Elizabeth Schaefer. I am the director of the BA in communications program. Um, so I oversee the major. We also have a communications minor and we have a marketing minor too, but we'll focus right now on the communications major. Um, if you could, can I control the slide? Oh, no. Okay, yes, yeah, so if you could please go to the next slide. Thank you, that's perfect right there. Um, so the communications degree is definitely unique, right? It's um, a very creative degree. It's also very practical, very applicable. So what it does is it takes all of the, the creativity that's out there in the professional world, whether it's in writing or re whether it's in digital media, whether it's in social media um, or different like community communications. It has all this creative aspect in there, um, but with all of this professional training built into that. Um, so students who major and graduate with a degree in communications, they graduate with both the professional expertise and knowledge that they have acquired throughout their studies, and they also have graduated with a certain kind of artistic creativity, which is a very good differentiator once you enter the workforce and start applying for jobs. Uh, be those jobs in communications or marketing or related fields. Um, we'll take a look at some of the fields within communications in just a moment. Um, so you can see here just a, a little overview. The program is very dynamic. You have lots of guest speakers who are coming to the classroom or visiting via Zoom, professionals in the field. Um, for example, recently we had someone from, um, from CNN visit one of the classrooms and different uh, WGN TV, and then some different big nonprofit and government uh, people as well in the Chicago area. So there's a lot of energy and a lot of networking involved too. Um, so you can see here, yeah, I pretty much have set all of that. Oh, so for communications, you could be focused in, uh, you might really, really enjoy writing, right? This could be a degree for you at the same time, if you kind of don't enjoy writing, but you like being behind the scenes, maybe just sort of, you know, communicating in some other way, or even communicating verbally, this is also a degree for you. Something that's unique about this program compared to some of the communication programs at other colleges is that our communications program encompasses a variety of different communication techniques. So if you're not that interested in writing, it's still a good opportunity to improve your writing skills. Um, and if you are interested in writing, Awesome, you've got some great writing opportunities. And then that goes the same way with verbal communication. Say you're not really that interested in public speaking, but you should probably should have a little bit of practice there. This is an opportunity. Say you love public speaking. There you go, this is another opportunity. So there's a rich variety of, um, of coursework that you do in this program. And if we could go to the next slide, please. I talk very fast, I apologize. Oh yes, so we have some uh, lovely pictures here. These are just some snapshots from some different field trips that some of our communication majors took. For example, um, they visited the Streetwise office. Now, I don't know if you know Streetwise magazine. It's a nonprofit publication that supports homeless people, people without homes, people who need help learning, um, connecting with the workforce. So our communications program visited their headquarters and actually collaborated on this professional publication. And one of our communication students, as you can see here in the this image at the top on the left um, actually published one of her pieces in this magazine, which was really cool. Um, and we're also launching a, a media studio with some video work and with some um, uh, podcasting work. So that's also neat. You can see a little bit of some of the students who are communicating, recording on the mic. Some field trips there, uh, Chicago Tribune, Chicago Cultural Center, and this is also for students who are interested, who are attending uh, the Wheeling campus too. We're also organizing different field trips together for with the Wheeling students in Wheeling, also in downtown Chicago. So it's kind of a neat community, uh, united sort of experience. Uh, we always have an annual event in December, and yeah, we will go on to the next slide. All right, um, so I mentioned this a little bit here, the different areas within communications. We look at the digital communications, right? So working on emails, writing sales proposals, which used to be more physical copy, but now it's more electronic. 
Um, so these give you some really good current skills that are being used in the workplace. Uh, social media is also a significant component of the program. You might be new to social media and then really get to know the fundamentals. You might come in with some really good experience already and have the opportunities there to build upon what you already know and new platforms. Uh, we have a wonderful team of social media experts who keep the curriculum current and um, vibrant. And yeah, and then here's the, another aspect of the program. I'm giving you whiplash here, uh, but it's cool. It's, it's good, trust me. Um, so another aspect of the program is the organizational communication. So this is an area within the degree for students who are kind of like, huh, do I want to major in business? Um, I really like the organizational kind of side, the corporate communications, um, but maybe I don't like the accounting side, something like that. Well, this might be a good major for you because we do the organizational communications, the corporate business communications, um, and you can always major in communications and minor in business or the flip side, you could major in business and minor in communications. Uh, society and culture. Lots of our students in the communications program are very, very interested in making a difference in the community. So that's interacting with local, local government, you know, governments and, and local politicians even, and nonprofits and different opportunities to help other people, advocacy, even activism. And we have some really good courses built within this program that focus on that kind of cultural, multi-generational, um, and civic communications. Uh, next slide, please. All right. So with this program, you leave, you graduate with some pretty cool, tangible uh, results, by which I mean you leave, you graduate with some, you can't see my hands here, I'm going like this, uh, with like a, a, a portfolio of different material that you have created throughout the course. And it's an electronic portfolio. So if you have created some vlogs or some podcasts in the program that you really would like prospective employers to, to see and experience, in this e-portfolio that you build, they can do that. They can look at your best pieces of work, whether it's media pieces of work, whether it's writing, what have you. So students graduate their senior term, their very, very last term of their senior year, they produce this e-portfolio, which is great for LinkedIn um, and so many different, so many different uh, purposes. Uh, another cool kind of differentiator I want to say from some of the other colleges is that we have a the communications department program drives a magazine like a legit quarterly magazine that they produce every term and it's an optional involvement so if you're a communications major and you're not interested in publishing or writing or providing media you know if you're not quite ready to show it to the world that's okay it's optional but it's an opportunity for all communication majors to contribute to a publication that is viewed by literally thousands of, of people which is neat we have some pretty big people in the Chicago area uh, even nationally who are interviewed who you may have an opportunity to interview. Uh, so it's a really neat publication and it's called Communications Quarterly. We'll take a quick look at that in just a minute. Actually, I could do it right now. Um, may I share my screen quickly, please? Oh, can, oh it looks sure, like I no can see problem. that. Okay, thank you. Oops. I don't remember what screen I have up here. So, all right. All right, here is a look at our most recent issue of Communications Quarterly. The theme of this issue, our spring issue, is storytelling. And this is, look at this, this is so substantive. You have a lot of content here and you can produce all different genres of content. You could write a story, you could write some fiction, you could write a poem, you could write a straightforward news article, you could write a column about a topic that you're passionate about, maybe, maybe a social issues uh, column. You have so many opportunities. You can also include, like I mentioned, there's the ability, this is not the e-portfolio, but in the magazine you also have the opportunity to include different media. For example, a major here, um, a communications major, recorded a podcast that is in here. And this is a, this, this uh, man right here is a national 
public radio host, very well known. And one of our uh, students here in the communications program had the opportunity to interview him, which was super cool. Um, yeah, so, and you can find this if you're interested in, in poking around the, the issue or the previous issues, you can go to the NLU website, nl.edu and click on news and you will see communications quarterly. And you can sort of take a look around there. Before I, so I'll, I'll switch away from the magazine. Uh, going back to the, the degree itself, I'm going to show you what the courses are. So I gave you a taste of the different areas it covers. So here you can see them kind of in action. Um, I mentioned that there's the part of the communications program that really focuses on the media. So you have evolution of mass media is one of the courses in that area. Social media networking, contemporary media communications. Uh, public relations and contemporary society, which is kind of both business and a little bit of media too. Uh, and then there's that whole community communications aspect here, like organizational communications, conflict management, civic and community communications, where students record their own little reality shows. It's pretty cool. Uh, influence of culture and communications, multi-generational communications. Uh, you get the idea, I hope. <laughs> and... Yeah, so I, I think that's all I have on my screen. That's all I have on my screen. So I'll stop sharing and wrap up uh, the next, my little section here. I think I have a couple more slides. Okay, do the next slide. Oh yeah, uh, so a minor that goes really well with the communication major, I mentioned business is a good uh, good minor. Marketing is an excellent minor. And if you take a look at the list where it says minors, plural, that's actually one minor there, the marketing minor. Um, and there are six different classes that you take uh, for a marketing minor. You can see the fundamentals, the principles of marketing, nonprofit marketing, event marketing, where you build your own event, uh, small business marketing, digital marketing, advertising, and then market research for design and innovation. So you can probably imagine that goes pretty well with a, um, a major in communications. We can switch to the next. Or is that the last one? Might be the last one. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna read all these to you, don't worry, maybe take a little snapshot with your phone <laughs> or a screenshot. Um, the communications industry, thank goodness, is actually doing very, very well. And so much of that is thanks, of course, to the digital aid age, and also thanks to the different need of different community members to have support uh, for social issues and social initiatives. Um, so even through this scary job market, communication professionals have been and will continue to be needed, right? So who is going to work on conflict communications for a company that's kind of unstable maybe in a bad economy? A communications professional is gonna work on that. Um, how are you gonna communicate uh, inexpensively to, to your customers or prospective customers? You can do it by, via social media, right? Who is gonna be doing that? A communications professional. Uh, see public relations, writing, all of that. So it's a very, very healthy job market. It really can't be automated and is just continuing to grow. So that's very exciting. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of job prospects, salary prospects as you work your way up to that. 